Hello viewers, and welcome back to my Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last video, we finished the Hole of Beasts, I believe it was called. And in this one, we're going to continue our exploration of the Awakening Wood, Above Ground, Day 3. And look at that, 20% of the debt recovered. We are one-fifth of the way there, guys. It'd be embarrassing if my math was wrong, but I don't think it is. Alright, the berries need time to regrow. Yeah, you can't just spam the berries. If you harvest too many, then they kind of die a little bit, but that's okay. It'll grow back eventually. Down the bottom right, we actually have our, uh, our treasure detector. So the needle's pointing all the way to the left. It means we're not close to any treasure, sadly, but, uh, hopefully that'll change. Kill it, 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 kill it. Okay. Yeah, combat's pretty easy when you got, um, purple Pikmin with you. Another dungeon! That was fast. Astounding! My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? If you find trouble below, press start pause to contact me and press R on the radar screen. The exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you. Yes, so if you're ever in a pickle underground, um, you're low on Pikmin, you can't get any more, the enemies are getting more dangerous, you can actually escape the dungeon whenever you want at the expense of dropping all the treasure you collected. So it's definitely not ideal, but it will save you from, you know, dying. Which I guess is preferable. Hopefully it never comes to that. The White Flower Garden. Entering with 94 this time, since we let someone die in the last dungeon. It's tragic. But again, time will freeze while we're in here, so we don't have to worry about the day ending when we're not above ground to see it. I don't know how. They they try to explain it at some point as like underground electromagnetic tectonic shifts or some shit. And that's how the day doesn't progress when you're underground. It makes zero sense, but I'm not gonna question it. So this is a very strange location we found ourselves in. Um Definitely some sort of man-made structure, like a, a sewage pipe system. Uh, uh, not the sheer grubs. This one enemy has the highest kill count of the game so far. No! Oh my gosh! Did it live? Oh, it lived. Okay. That was close. If you kill an enemy fast enough after it eats a Pikmin, the Pikmin will actually climb back out of its mouth alive. Which I'm sure is gonna happen. Yes, okay. Oof. Yes, if any Pikmin fall off the sides, they just die instantly. So you gotta be careful not to let. Is that a jar of Skippy peanut butter? It is. And our treasure meter is reacting violently. Get it? This is so funny, I'm playing the European version of the game, which is different, because usually the jar of Skippy peanut butter shows up much later in the American version. It's so weird seeing it here. I believe in the American version you normally get a can of kiwi uh, shoe polish. But now it's Skippy peanut butter, that's so random. I love it though. I'm more of a Jif peanut butter guy, but Skippy's my second choice. With, uh, Peter Pan being my third choice. Nutrient Silo! That's fun. Our treasure gauge has turned gray, that means there's nothing else on this floor. And we will continue further down.
Don't yell at me, game. The White Flower Garden. Alright. Okay. I gotta be careful not to throw Pikmin off the sides by mistake, or have an enemy toss them off the side. Oh boy, over there we see some fiery blowhogs. You might remember them from the forest naval in Pikmin 1. They shoot fire. So that's interesting. There's only two of them, though. We have a Dr. Pepper bottle cap here. This actually kind of looks valuable. Like, it's probably not a real gemstone, it's probably like plastic. But... It looks pretty. It's a petrified heart. That's a great name, if I do say so myself. What could they possibly call the Dr. Pepper live? Drought Ender. <laughs> okay. I love how the Dr. Pepper lid is worth the same amount as a gemstone heart. Alright, I want him to face me. Because if he bucks, then he'll toss all the Pikmin over the side of the stage. I managed to stun him so he couldn't shoot any fire. That's pretty nice. Let's bring them both back. I bet these guys are worth six each. Let's see if I'm right. Just four, huh? So a ball orb is worth like double the fiery blowhogs almost? That's kinda it's kinda strange. Moving on. Love the music in this game. You know what's funny? Even the music is randomized. You're probably like, what does that mean? The tracks they use are literally shuffled up notes. Like, they're not even official tracks. They're just notes that, that play in different orders. Like, listen. It'll sound different every time, every time. Everyone's playthrough has different. I'm throwing Pikmin at this light, because then it'll add it to the Pikmopedia. Alright. Got some clovers here. And what is this? White candy pop buds. How can a flower so deep underground bloom so robustly? How mysterious. This place is conspicuously warm. Could it act as a kind of hothouse for foliage? What an interesting development. The Pikmin look as if they long to be tossed into the flower. Deja vu. We are not throwing the purple Pikmin in. That would be a mistake. I'm gonna throw five in each. All right, let's see what we got here. Yes, my favorite Pikmin, the white Pikmin. Look at them. Look at their beady little eyes. Incredible, a white Pikmin. It is tiny, but looks distinctly swift. Its eyes are an unseemly red. This type of Pikmin was not mentioned in your notes, Alamar. It must be an entirely new type. Our data record on this type is a blank page, since a certain captain never documented them. Do I sense some patronizing there? You must experiment and make detailed observations for the benefit of future generations. Future generations. There's like so, there's like a theme here about like plundering an alien world like of its resources. Um, 
And later on, Almar will actually express some disdain for it, which I think is kind of cool. Um, but for now, we're just trying to pay off our debt, man. We gotta get our ship back. We spent so long repairing it in the last game. Oh, that's... That's nice that we found a Honey Wisp. And get some flowers here. So the White Pikmin are kind of like the opposites of the Purple Pikmin in that they're smaller and therefore weaker, but they are much faster. Like, look how fast they are. Wait, wait, wait. I can even make them run faster than the Captain if I so choose. That's how fast they are. They're even faster carrying the parts back. Even though they still only carry uh, one Pikmin worth. Look at that, we found a new type of nectar. It's red. The red liquid you see contains refined ultra spicy essence. One drop contains one dose. Press down the D-pad to spray this extract on your entire group. So basically, this is like the stuff we get from the berries. Except it's concentrated, so we only need one drop for one spray. And I'm actually gonna do a little trick here. Every Pikmin fan knows this. You take control of Louie, and you push Olimar into it. And then Olimar will harvest it, and then you can run into it and harvest it yourself, and you get two from one drop. Boom! That's a little break you can do, um, to get more spray from a single drop. And, um, what the hell is going on here? Amazing! The white Pikmin have unearthed the treasure that was completely buried in the ground. Perhaps those beady red eyes of theirs allows them to sense objects buried in the dirt. Yes! White Pikmin have x-ray vision, guys. They can see treasure that the other Pikmin cannot. If we had no white Pikmin, there's no way we could have gotten that treasure. The Pikmin won't even dig if we ordered them to. You need white Pikmin to find treasure that is unseen to the naked eye. So that's that's something they're really useful for. They have a bunch of other uses, um, one of which I already mentioned, the speed. They'll carry that thing back much faster than usual. Even if they're a leaf Pikmin, they're still pretty fast. I think a leaf white Pikmin is the same speed as, like, a flower normal Pikmin. Super stick textile. Only 80 Pocos. That's kind of disappointing. That's everything for this floor. Delve deeper with your Pikmin. Yes. Don't mind if I do. The music on this save screen is kind of creepy. It's creepy. Ugh. Gonna ignore that. This game, it's the this game surprisingly gets it a little scary at at some parts, just because some enemies are um. Dude, I forgot this was a thing. There's poison. Okay. So you might have guessed if you were paying attention to the introduction cutscene. White Pikmin are actually poisonous, and therefore they're immune to poison. So I'll take the White Pikmin ahead to take out these, uh, poison emitters. I don't know, dude. I'm not gonna question it. The problem with the poison in this game is that, unlike the Fire Geysers, they are constantly emitting poison, so there's no way to get Pikmin through here unless you destroy them with White Pikmin. You can imagine how impossible this game becomes if you let your white Pikmin go extinct. Never want that to happen. What is this? That's too heavy for the white Pikmin alone. Look alive, Louie. I don't recognize half the shit. Is it because... <laughs> It's so funny, it's like they changed what the treasures were for the European audience, because they're going to recognize different things. That's hilarious. I am going to need the White Pikmin pack, though, so... 
If y'all can just finish carrying that, thank you. Herring's filet happen in tomato What the? Container of sea bounty. Alright. These are real things, guys. Like, you could probably find that on a shelf somewhere. And it'll look exactly like that. I work at a grocery store, and like... Every, like, hour I see something on a shelf, and I'm like, Hehe, <laughs> that's in Pikmin. Okay, I'm gonna throw the white Pikmin there. Uh, is that- that mushroom must be a treasure. So here's what you do. We have a little puzzle here. You throw the Pikmin up on the ledge. You enter this little crevice here. You call the Pikmin. You use the sea stick to guide them to it. Come on, guys. Get out. Get up there. You got it. That one guy doesn't know what to do. Oh, there we go. Okay. Don't be lazy. Just look how fast they carry that, though. So satisfying. And I bet that's the last treasure, too. So, I'm just gonna sit by this, uh... This exit. Wait for it to return to base. I don't know why a random mushroom is a, a treasure in their book. It's only worth 30 pokos, so I guess it's not that much of a treasure. Toxic Toadstool. Damn, interesting. Well, that's the all clear to go ahead. Just our, our dose of creepy music. It's level 5. The whole of Beast was 5 floors. I wonder how many floors this one is. Five floors. Okay. That means we have a boss waiting for us. Um, I'm gonna let <laughs> I'm gonna let Louie go ahead. <laughs> I'll let the newbie take charge here. The boss always has a treasure, so. Oh, there he is. Okay. It's only a Snagret. It's only a Snagret. Everyone calm down. We fought Snagrets before. This is no problem. Yeah, Snagrets. Half Egret, half Snake. S -s Snagret? I don't know. Oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. I don't want any of my special Pikmin to die. Like the purple Pikmin, the white Pikmin are very hard to propagate because you need the flowers in order to do so. Okay, okay. Die, 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 No, let him go. I think I killed it in time. They're in its mouth, they're in its beak. Oh, they're safe. Oh, thank God. And we found a gardening glove. Well done, Captain Olimar. You have defeated that freakish half-bird, half-serpent hybrid. Oh no, don't tell me. That treasure was ingested by that beast, wasn't it? We'll just take the severed head back. That's not metal at all. Ah! 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 Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. So sometimes the eggs have these little... I don't even know what you call these things inside. And they emit a pheromone that drive the Pikmin insane. So if they ever show up in the middle of a battle, your Pikmin are just useless. We got the five-man knapsack. Uh, this material looks comfortable. I will use it to patch the boss's favorite sleeping bag. Okay. Seam test conclusive, cross-stitching successful, the knapsack is complete. Okay. 
When you have an unoccupied time interval, press and hold X to take a nap. Yeah, so we can take naps now. Check this out. Boom! You might be wondering what on earth that does. Basically... Imagine we're split up, Louie and I. Louie's working on a wall. Olimar is far from base. There's sprouts that need to be plucked back at base. I can do this. The Pikmin will carry Olimar back to the base while I work with Louie. It's all about multitasking, baby. Alright? Look how far they already are. Basically, it's just a way for uh, one captain to return to base automatically without needing to control them. Boop. And here I am. It's, it's a weird power-up, I admit. It's a very strange power-up. But it works. Every second you save counts. Well, that does it for the White Flower Garden, and I think that does it for this video as well. We earned 709 Pokos, not as much as the whole of Beasts, but it's something. No deaths, that's pretty cool. This is exciting, we're making a lot of progress. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.